Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics that can help you grow in the software industry. So if you want to grow really, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel now and press the bell icon so that you will know when I go live on this channel. Hi Mayank, how are you? Sir, the future of Salesforce. Uh, Mayank's future of Salesforce is very, very uh, good. The reason is this. So Salesforce is a CRM application. Salesforce started a CRM application, okay? But Salesforce is a pioneer in SaaS programming. Salesforce is the first company which started software as a service. When all the companies were uh, working on, you know, desktop development or server, server based development, server based application development, Salesforce decided that we are going to build a CRM application which will work on the internet. This is as early as I think 1995 or 1998 or 99. I don't know the exact year. Uh, I don't have the exact uh, timing of this, but this was as back as that time. And they said that our software will be such, our CRM software will be such that you will not have to download it and install it on any machine. You can directly use it from the internet. If you have an internet connection, our software will be useful from the internet. So they are a pioneer in uh, SaaS application. They are also a pioneer in uh, cloud-based application because any SaaS application is a cloud-based application. Okay, all the cloud-based application that you see today, they use a Salesforce kind of template. They use the the similar thought process similar technology even sometimes the pricing model the recurring pricing model that people are using that they use from salesforce so salesforce is way ahead in its league as a saas application developer okay now if you see the crm market okay if you see the crm market the big players in crm are salesforce uh, microsoft dynamics and there are a few more, uh, there is there is SAP of course, but SAP is used more in the manufacturing companies than on the CRM side. But there are a few, few CRM applications, okay? Uh, Zoho is one CRM application, but Salesforce, even within this pack, is the leading company in CRM, okay? Salesforce, so if you become an engineer who learns Salesforce, who learns uh, building application on Salesforce. Salesforce is also a tool where you can extend the Salesforce application by writing your own code and building an extension to Salesforce. And that is what Salesforce is known for. So you will have the CRM application. You'll have a lot of features and modules which are automatically given by the CRM, um, or CRM bit. But beyond that, you can extend this application. You can extend this application to any level so if an engineer becomes a salesforce expert okay so as a software engineer you have to develop your prowess and what do you mean by prowess is expertise and what is an expertise expertise is in specialization now you are not just a software engineer now you are a software engineer with knowledge of salesforce now you understand the salesforce crm application really well you are not just able to use the features of CRM application, but you are able to extend the face, uh, the features of CRM application that will give you an advantage over a lot of other engineers. And because Salesforce is a leading comp company in CRM, you will never be out of job for your next 30, 40 years because Salesforce will keep developing. So now they, they are using artificial intelligence and machine learning within their code. They will use all the new technology, data science they will be using, they will use big data. All these technologies they will incorporate within their CRM application to help their industry, the CRM industry, with whatever new technologies are coming in. 
So even if you are a Salesforce engineer, you can also do AI and ML within that Salesforce application. Okay. So the whole point is what I am trying to make is the future of a software engineer who's working on Salesforce is really good. And if you are on that, specialize yourself, become an expert in that so good that automatically then you will start differentiating your salary from other engineers. Okay. Because I, I see a lot of engineers who feel that we should not learn these tools. See, this is a tool. Salesforce is a tool which has been developed for the CRM industry. It's a tool for a CRM industry. And people think we should not learn about these tools. Okay, these tools are not useful. I should just be a programmer. But being a programmer is just a mason's work. Okay, being a programmer is the lowest level of work you can be, be at. Okay, if you just know programming. But when you start improving your programming by uh, being able to design something, you start improving your programming by learning various tools that are there in the market, which are leading tools. Salesforce is one leading tool. Another is Microsoft Dynamics, which is also a leading CRM application uh, developer. And Microsoft is a known name. So they are also into this, but they are both in competition, but Salesforce is ahead of Microsoft as far as CRM industry is concerned. Okay, so it's very good future if you are uh, building your expertise on Salesforce. Okay, so do a specialization and this is a kind of specialization. Okay, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then subscribe because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics that will help you grow. So subscribe now and press the bell icon. Also share this channel with all of your friends. I do this live every Thursday. Thank you very much. See you in the next live.